Oof. Oh my god, the sun. <laughs> Hi, make sure you stay until the end of the video because I thought of some tips that I haven't seen other people talking about and I hope they're helpful for you if you're working remotely or just trying to get more work done than usual. Hit like if you find any of this helpful and make sure to subscribe if you just want to hang out. So what happens during the days that I want to be extra productive? It all starts out with a dog walk. Of course, I'm going to take my little hushie out as soon as possible and make our way around the block enjoying whatever we come across. I left in some bird noises here. I hope you find those as relaxing as I did. Then I spend the time leading up to work either reading through an ebook or listening to an audiobook and trying to drink as much blood as possible. If I can front load the beginning of my day with exercise, education, <laughs> and hydration, then I know whatever happens next, at least I tried my best in the waking hours, right? If I'm lucky, my boyfriend wakes up and we get to watch News Wave together, which is a fun tradition and it's great to <laughs> wake up in the morning and take in all the new video game news together. I wouldn't say either of us are particularly skilled at anything. Just saying. I totally forgot that I had meetings back to back. So I basically rolled out of bed in the same outfit that I slept in and wore it throughout the beginning of this day. And that's how it went. The meetings were good. Thank you for asking. I'll let the me of this day begin to talk to you now. I'm outside with Hush right now. Take laps breathe, take in the air, and that is going to get your juices flowing once you get back inside. Make time for a lap. Chad broke up with me. Just last night we spent two hours on the phone playing Mary Had a Little Lamb with the Butt Toads. One, two, three, 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 zero, two, two. I feel so much better. Don't forget to eat. <laughs> Okay, we're moving into the part of the day where I feel really sluggish. So it's roughly 1 p.m. and I'm about to jump into a project that could take two to three hours. So I'm gonna wash my face, put on some makeup, change out of the clothes that were pajamas slash loungewear and try to get a adequate refresh before I work on a new project. These kinship products are so fragrant and also this popular rose jam wash product. They smell so intense and good and that's also gonna wake me up. This is the closest thing I have to a life hack is to use your lipstick for tint if you're lazy. But then you look like a clown. <laughs> Be busy. <laughs> this has been really helpful for me lately. I give myself a set piece of time. I break it into chunks, like 20 minute intervals, and I continue to set a timer on my phone. This is sometimes called the Pomodoro method. If you've been working from home in the past few months, you've probably experimented with it. So that is basically what I'm gonna try and see if I can hop to it and do this as twice as fast as I normally would. Fingers crossed because I really wanna get it done today. The next thing that's super essential to being productive is having something to look forward to. And for me lately, that has been slightly forcing in a workout. I am just doing a bar workout, I believe. I might just get more excited because the movements are different from the HIIT workouts and yoga workouts that I've been doing lately. And sometimes you just need to switch it up to reinvigorate how you have a day and basically don't plateau on the fitness level. Okay, wow. <laughs> if you made it this far or found any of the past clips helpful, hit thumbs up but I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna run through them one more time, especially cause that was just a montage. So let me get into the nitty gritty. Create morning rituals. This consists of tasks that you'll enjoy completing in the morning, including drinking water, which makes you feel good, listening to an audiobook that pumps you up, makes you feel creative, or spending some time catching up on the morning news, or perhaps spending some time with your significant other. Take laps, they'll give you a refreshed body so that when you return to work, you have a refreshed mind and can take everything into consideration with bright, brand new eyes. Please do remember to eat. Every time I film a video, I find some way to slip in there that I've forgotten to eat. Is this just me? Comment below if you can go an entire day thinking I've just had black coffee and nothing good. And the secret to getting around this is usually meal oh prepping. No. I know it sounds like a bitch, 
I'm the millionth person to tell you to meal prep on Sunday, but I'm gonna link down below a recipe that I do love that's so, so easy. It's cashews, oats, and a couple seasonings. It's lemon poppy seed energy balls, and they are so delicious and are energizing. So please make those. It changes my life just to have a snack, even if it's not a full meal during the week. Seriously, it feels like I'm trying to fit in a HelloFresh sponsorship. No, that's not happening. I don't have that. Change your clothes. If it's not abundantly clear, I change my outfits frequently throughout the day. I'm in a new outfit now, so <laughs> is what it is. If you don't have the advantage of getting fully dressed in the morning, this is your moment to come back in the afternoon, strip yourself down. I usually take a shower. I fit in good smelling products. I refresh myself that way. And then I find a balance between something professional, so I feel like I'm actually working, and something comfortable because we ain't going anywhere. You'll see in that clip that I wore a skirt and a button-up shirt. That is like a ride or die for me. The skirt is from Outdoor Voices and the button-up is just thrifted out of the men's section, a pearl snap button-up. They are so cute, timeless, do it. And like I said, you can take a shower in the middle of the day. <laughs> Sometimes I'll roll into a meeting with damp hair and it's just like, yeah, that girl, when does she shower? It's at 12 noon whenever I can fit it in. So just trust me, the water will cleanse your body. You will feel good. Try casual aroma therapy. When you have a highly scented product, it changes your setting. When you rub a lotion or a face wash onto yourself, something is happening. Again, you are cleansing yourself periodically throughout the day so that you can get more done as if you had just woken up, right? So Lush and Kinship are my new recent favorites. And then also you could light a candle. I'm constantly lighting candles. So that is an option as well. I used to not even like scents, but the last year has done a lot to change me, so. Brush your teeth. I'm not a dentist, so this is an actual advice. I think there's probably an ideal time to brush your teeth and a limit on how many times you should do so throughout the day. But for me, if my mouth feels stale, my body is stale, my work is stale, so I'm brushing my teeth whenever and however I want to. Join this bandwagon <laughs> or hop on off, right? <laughs> Try the Pomodoro technique. Set timers on your phone for 25 to half an hour increments and then take small breaks in between. Watch a YouTube video. Is that what you're doing right now? Give yourself sprints to work through so it doesn't feel like an endless eight hour shift. I've been there. I don't think it's sustainable. Block out time on your calendar. This could be a time for writing, designing, then managing. In that way, you're changing the space in your brain that you're working into and getting a fresh muscle to flex essentially. Create rewards for yourself. I am always saying this one is for my future self, right? Even though something might not feel totally great in the present, what can you set up for your future self and what can you do in the present to set your future self up for success? It's another person that you're working toward. When I mean something to look forward to, for me this day, it was a bar workout and I will show you this time lapse is absolutely horrendous. I'm never gonna do this again. Tell me, tell me this isn't the most elegant workout you've ever seen the workout of dancers, right? <laughs> but it's fun, I like it, I enjoy it. So I look forward to it. You're not always gonna look forward to a workout, but that works for me. It could also be something like having a dessert. Truly, I will just get a donut from the co-op down the street, and that will be something I will look forward to all day. It can be big, it can be small, but reward yourself, you deserve it. This goes along in that same vein, plan a hobby to look forward to as well, something that's completely different from the work that you do. For me, this is lately working on baking and cultivating my own sourdough starter. What did I say? This quarantine has actually aged me a decade. I am a different person. But yes, I have a sourdough starter. She is or he is three weeks. I didn't want to get attached. It doesn't have a name. It does have a nice jar that I recently used my new label maker on. Again, I have changed. <laughs> and obviously, I just want to close this off by saying I don't do these things every day. My dog is getting some water. She, she listened. Hush listened. She's getting her water and this is her evening ritual. Are we done? I don't do these things one after another every single day. I try to front load my day with good things and sprinkle these in throughout the day. Whatever is working for me, 
day by day basis. But I just wanted to show you this is what an average productive day looks like. Was it helpful? Did I give you anything that you haven't heard before? It's been great chatting and hanging with you and I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Bye.